Okay, here we go, and they're starting. Um, this is the Wookiee file. So now we're going to talk about this whole Casey Anthony case on how she lied through the whole damn thing, and I think she's still guilty as hell about how they said that her, this child died in the swimming pool and all and all that kid. The girl didn't kill the, the woman didn't kill that little girl. She killed that girl. I think she did. Because one thing is, man, she lied about everything. She even said it in the, even in the uh, uh, interview with the popos that uh, that she was a good liar. She lied about it. And. I thought it was just fucked up shit though like if you look from the beginning she didn't cry or nothing she didn't cry she had no tears or nothing like man when I supposed to cry she had that attitude like was I supposed to cry or something and it's been like a half a year now year and a half and uh she's now starting to cry cry and getting place sick and that's kind of fucked up. She lied. Like, she's trying to play sick and cry. And then she's trying to bust out and say her daddy molested her. And it's funny that one of her boyfriends, I think one of her boyfriends said, ex-boyfriend said, oh, she told me that she was molested as a kid. That was the only boyfriend that knew it. No other, no other ones. And it's some shit, though. That the, 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 it, her father's line, her mother's line, her brother's line, she's line. Damn, that whole damn family's are full of fucking liars. Now, it is kind of fucked up that the woman had, went partying when her child was sitting up there, died, dead somewhere. She lied about saying, "Oh, my nanny took my daughter." There wasn't no nanny. It was fucking bullshit. Then she tried to say other things. Oh, she drowned in the pool. That was a motherfucking lie. Because they got this shit on uh, cam. They, you know, they record every conversation. Like some of these prisons got them video shit. Yeah, video shit. Like to talk to the prisoners. And they recorded that shit, and don't you? And she lied about that. And I, oh, this girl is so stupid. And to me, I still ask questions like, after you lied, after your mom and dad and your brother lied, why did you wait to the last minute to cry? Why? Why did you wait to the last minute to cry over your baby? She cried because she seen the remains of her daughter. Why start crying now? Why didn't you cry at the beginning? Why didn't you cry then? Why? She never cried over the damn child until now. She was plain, plain sick, plain crying. Crocodile tears my ass. No, she was smiling through court too and joking around like bitch there ain't no damn murder oh, like hold up if you innocent why is you joking and laughing and smiling and all this and that in court knowing that you innocent I would have kept my head in the game man it's like oh, look dude I'm innocent I didn't kill my I want to be cracking the hey, I ain't none I'm going to jail you killed the damn child girl you murdered your own damn child to get famous, to get on TV, just trying to get money. Now, now, now these killers, these murderers, don't know, don't are stupid enough because they think, okay, if they kill somebody, they're gonna get money. They're not gonna get money. They're not gonna get money. They they don't get a book deal. They will get a movie deal, but they won't get the money. 
and they, she ain't gonna be making no special appearance nowhere because if she found found uh, found guilty she's getting death she get she gonna be killed she gonna have she gonna be on death row but she lied but she was I think she was but she was probably was crying because she was fucked she screwed but her her lies are unraveling evidence like well they don't have evidence on her that she did kill her they don't got fingerprints or nothing like that that she did but some of the evidence or is put some of her not the evidence is putting at her but her action her her action and her lies that's all they got is her her lies and her actions now if they don't got evidence some some if they don't got evidence proof showing that she did it some courts would sit there and take the word of a witness a few witnesses and testify or sometimes courts would sit up there and would sit up there and throw it out the window because they ain't got shit to back it up so that's still kind of on the fence but she but the shit is leaning towards more of guilty because she lied too damn much and that's how it is people like she lied too damn much if I would have been in the shoes I would have never lied I would have told her told the police the truth I would probably got off a lighter sentence I would have called say yeah I killed my child I would have told like well you gotta remember most killers won't say nothing they won't most of them don't. There's a few that was actually called and say, oh, I just killed somebody. But a lot of them won't. They'll be on the run. If she really did kill somebody, she would have left town. That's one thing she would have did was leave town if she killed her daughter. Because a lot of murderers, they go on a killing spree, they leave town. They either go to or leave the state. Either they go to Canada, Mexico, or England, somewhere over water. But she didn't do that. And you gotta think about it. Is she really a killer? Cause a lot of killers skip town. But uh, like she's guilty. Well, everything she did was proven that she's guilty. But you gotta think about it. There's not evidence showing that she did it. Showing that she did it. Now, so I still think she's guilty, but not not a lot of evidence is showing up saying that she did kill her daughter. They find out she lied about the nanny. She lied about her child drowning in the pool. I don't know even know if she did get molested because only one boyfriend told that. One boyfriend told that, and. I'm sitting here thinking like okay uh, if your father molested you why didn't you go seek help why didn't you go see a therapist a psychiatrist or something if if your child if you got molested as a child cause usually some people you got molested like I can see cause I used to watch all these shows like the first 48 I watched the first because that's real shit but this woman told the court she was molesting the boyfriend she told the same story it's kind of odd they didn't have a bad thing to say about her they didn't, uh, they didn't say a bad thing about this girl not every all the ex-boyfriends and boyfriends didn't say nothing about the didn't they say oh she's nice she's fun 
to be around. She's a spiritual person. I said it will at least there's some people backing her up and I give kinda of making it look kinda of little tiny weeny pinksy little bill not guilty. But she's still guilty no matter what. And it's sad to see that this girl lied about all this shit. And she could have told the truth. Cause wait, cause wait to the, just wait for this one. When she gets locked up back up, when she gets on that death, when the judge sends her to death, that bitch is gonna start singing like a fucking canary. I know that for a fact. That bitch is gonna start singing. She gonna start telling us straight up true. My daddy did this. I did that. My daddy did this. My daddy did that. My mother did this. I did that. The bitch is gonna start singing like a fucking canary, just to get out for death row. Either the judge wants to reopen the case. It's up to the judge if he wants to open it or keep it closed. Because once they judge say you're guilty, you got life from uh, you going to death row. You're first to line. But it's all that's how it is. The girl didn't the woman didn't kill the damn child. Just to, that's one thing that's fucked up. Look, it's fucked up how she lied about Everything. Look, I would have lied about certain shit just to save my ass, and I would have tr but I would have told everything else. I would I would have started trying to steal the stem to another person. But you gotta remember, there's a lot of innocent people in the prisons because of evidence, lack of evidence. Maybe the cops or detectives misoverlooked about the evidence, but it, hey. Now. But like I said, this woman's guilty. This woman's going to spend her... Well, she's not going to spend her life in prison. She's going to die in prison. She wasn't smart enough to sit there and tell the truth. Because she made herself look stupid. She killed her child. She killed... That stupid shit. But this been this been Afro Joe telling like T.I. motherfucking is the bitch is guilty, guilty. She's not evidence until they show proof that she didn't do it. She's guilty. She's still guilty. When they get the evidence to evidence to show she's guilt not guilty, but she's innocent. Maybe they give her life in prison. Maybe they give her a few months, few years. Maybe she gets her. Whatever, but that's how it is. But this been this been Afro Joe. Ten like T I is. If you like this video, leave a comment or a video response. If you don't like this video or my channel, step your ass off some damn way. I don't need your bullshit. That's how it motherfucking is. I ain't got time for that. But tell your friends about this video. So I hope you subscribe and add me as a friend. But holla at me. Don't bullshit me.